What's going on guys, it's your boy Xander from XR Baseball, welcome back to another video. And I know that I said um, today would be the lower body part of the workout, but I thought I'd throw together a video about 10 essential things baseball players need or should have uh, that will really help. And I'm not going to be talking about, you know, glove, bat, helmet, hat, I'm not going to be talking about those things. I'm talking about smaller things that are essential and will really help you improve your game. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, the first item you need is a good pair of sunglasses. Because, you know, you're playing in a baseball game, you look up, the sun's there, you're playing center field, you can't miss it, and it ball hits you in the top of the head or you drop it and it falls down, then your coach is screaming at you for the next five to 10 minutes, run, score, you lose the game. A whole disaster can happen if you don't have a good pair of sunglasses. Uh, now, the price can range all over the board. This particular pair of Rawlings sunglasses cost $25. You can get them for $10. You can get them for $200 pair of Oakley's. Um, so it ranges all over the board. These are really nice white frames, uh, frameless on the bottom, and these are really comfortable. So sunglasses are a definite must have if you're gonna be playing baseball. All right, next item up is a pro hitter. And these things are really incredible. I've talked about them in the past. I made an IRL video if these actually help. Um, my data's probably not exact, but you know, um, it actually, it helps you. Basically what this thing does, you put it on your hand right here, and when you hold the bat, it helps you hold it out in your fingertips more, so you have a looser grip and faster hands. Uh, this thing is a definite must. I've used this in the past. I haven't really, really been using it lately, but it definitely helps to calm you down and give you faster hands. So a pro hitter is definitely something you can get. Uh, you could probably pick one up for like $15, 10 to $15. So a pro hitter is a definite must. Next up is glove locks. Now these things are cool. You can get them in many different colors. I got purple, silver, I've got blue ones, gold ones, green ones. Currently I have the green ones on the A2K. Show you real quick. And basically you just uh, you take some hot water, you uh, expand the strings and you make sure they're nice and straight. Then you pop the glove locks on and they help hold the finger and the thumb loop to the desired length and how, uh, how you want to have it. And they look pretty sweet too. I'll uh, just pop the A2K on, you know, just have a little bit more flair there. So glove locks are cool. They can, they'll cost you maybe about $10, $11 for a pack of four. So you can put two here and two here. So glo glove locks are definitely something you should consider getting. Next thing up is a baseball. Now, I know I said I wouldn't do generic things like glove, bat, helmet, baseball, but I mean, a baseball really is an essential thing because you can just practice, practice tossing it behind your back, you know, around the head. You can do many different things just with your hands in a baseball. You can do self picks. You can just do many things in a baseball and you definitely uh, should have baseball. I'm sure all of you have baseball because you're a baseball player. So what's a baseball player without a baseball? But y'all got baseballs. Uh, I mean, you can get them for like a dollar probably. You can get used baseballs and new baseballs. They don't cost that much. Unless if you're gonna try to like buy major league baseballs. Um, but anyways, you can get baseballs. And these are things are incredible. You can do many drills with just your hands in a baseball, especially when we're in quarantine, you're bored. I'll have a video coming out later about things you can do during quarantine. If you're bored, you know that'll help with your baseball skills. So definitely uh, practice with baseballs. And right along with the baseball is a tennis ball. And I've talked about these tons in the past. I made a video on tennis ball drills you can do to improve your baseball game, your infield game. I'll have a link to that video right up here. You can click, also be linked in the description below if you wanna go check that video out. So tennis balls, you can do drills with these, self picks, toss them against the wall, work with short hops. Many different things you can do with tennis balls. You can probably get them for like, you know, seven or eight dollars for a pack of three tennis balls, maybe 10 bucks. For a pack of three tennis balls, you can get them online, you know, and just get a bunch of tennis balls, do drills with these, do like rapid fire short hops, get a partner. You can do tons of cool things with these and a tennis ball is a definite essential uh, in practicing if you're a baseball player. The next thing up is a sleeve or a wristband or a chain or some kind of thing that you can wear on your body that will, you know, make you feel good because if you if you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, it's just a continuous chain. Now, if you're not someone that really likes to be flashy or something, you can just get a plain sleeve, pop it on your arm. You can get a wristband, pop it on your glove like I did with the A2K. I just popped a wristband on the wrist strap right there. Red Nike wristband. I mean, I, my team colors aren't red. I didn't really know what to do with these because I won them in a competition at a high school event. But, um, so I, I'm like, you know what? The red goes with the glove. It's not 
like I'm gonna be wearing it in my arm with like the blue team colors. So you know, I just popped it on the gloves. So you can, I mean, you can get wristbands or sleeves for you know really cheap price. You could probably get a couple like a couple sleeves for 15 bucks online on Amazon, and you can get a couple wristbands too. So definite must have because you know they can also help with the elbow keep it compressed and they look sweet and make you feel good so definitely get some kind of item you can wear that'll make you feel good next item up is an elbow guard or a leg guard or a protective equipment now i have a guard evo shield guard right here you know pop on the elbow and this thing is definitely essential i think these will run you about 40 50 dollars um, depending on what size you get but i mean it's important because you know, once you start to get older into like eighth grade, high school, you know, the pitches start coming a lot faster. So you want to make sure you have proper elbow and ankle protection to make sure you don't get drilled in the elbow. And so that way you're not scared to turn away from a pitch because, you know, it hurts to get hit in the elbow. I don't know if any of you ever got hit in the elbow, but it hurts. So instead of like ducking out of the way and taking a potential strike, you just stand in the box, shank one right off the elbow, get a free base. So... Um, elbow guard, leg guard, definitely something that a baseball player needs. The ninth item up we have is a good pair of batting gloves. And I'm not talking, you know, your $10 pair of Adidas batting gloves or your like synthetic material. I'm talking about a good, comfortable pair of batting gloves. I don't know, and I know some of you don't really want to pay, you know, 60, 40 to $60 on a good pair of batting gloves. I didn't want to either. I thought, you know, it would be a waste of money to spend like 60 bucks on a pair of batting gloves until I got these Franklin batting gloves. They're entirely web leather on the palm. They're very comfortable, most comfortable pair of batting gloves that I own. And I just feel comfortable in the box, comfortable hitting. My hands are relaxed. I've owned um, $10 Adidas pairs. I've owned $10 like Franklin, like Franklin's like crummy pairs. And you know, they just rip. They rip really easy. These ones I've hit at least like a thousand hits with already. And dry swings, you know, hitting balls. And these are still holding up strong, not even like no signs of rippage or anything. And they, plus they look sweet. So, you know, get your get yourself a pair of comfortable batting gloves. Definitely probably one of the most important things on the list. Cause you, you need to be, you need to feel good in the box in order to perform at your Next up, you wanna have some kind of wireless earbud or speaker. Now these things are incredibly important cause say you wanna go outside during quarantine and help hit off a tee into a net, throw with your brother, throw with your dad. Whatever it is, you want something that can play music, that can motivate you and make you try to perform at your best. Uh, if you live in you know, a smaller neighborhood where the houses are clo closer together, probably go for something like a um, like AirPods, Raycons, wireless air, uh, earbuds, so that way you're not disturbing people. But if you live somewhere where your houses are more spread out, you definitely might want to get a good speaker because you know you'll feel it in your chest more. You can feel the beat if you're closer to it. So speaker or earbud, definitely something that you should have if you're practicing by yourself. Next item you want to have is you want to get yourself a phone. Now I'm sure a lot of you have a phone. If you don't, you can grab your parents' phone, your mom, your dad's phone, whatever. And you need a phone because um, for one, you can play music uh, and uh, through Spotify, Pandora, whatever it is. And second, you want to be able to take video of your swing so that way you can look at it and you can analyze your swing. You can go through, watch it in slow motion, slow it down, see what you're doing right, see what you're doing wrong. You need a phone so that way you can analyze your swing, make sure you're doing everything right. You can look up videos on YouTube, on the internet, and uh, watch different breakdowns of Bryce Harp or Jose Altuve, many different MLB players. You can break their swings down and see what you're doing similar to them, see what you need to work on. So you definitely need to get a phone so you can record your baseball swing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, and like I said, uh, I was, today I was supposed to be doing leg day followed by abs, but uh, I thought I'd shoot this video and the next video will be legs followed by abs. So that way you can know what exercises you could be doing to improve your game during quarantine, during the season, whenever it, might, whenever it may be that you're watching this video. Uh, these items pretty much ranged anywhere from, you know, $7 to um, $60. That's pretty much um, where all of my items range. Now, of course, if you want to go get like a 200 pair of, uh, dollar pair of sunglasses, you know, that's going to cost a little bit more than $60. But, you know, a, these items are essential and every baseball player should have these things if you want to perform at your best and just feel good playing. 
and you know just improve your game. These things are very good to help you improve your baseball skill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the bell uh, so you can get notified every time we post a new video over here on X4 Baseball. And leave a comment, let me know if you have any video ideas, uh, if you have a question. Also, my email will be linked in the description as well as my Instagram. Be sure to go over there, DM me on Instagram, email me, whatever it may be. If you have any questions, video ideas, suggestions, anything at all, just DM me on Instagram. And as always, remember to make a steal.